my name is uh, Fu Manchu, and today I'm going to be reviewing the most expensive figure I have in my 1-6 scale collection. Or at least the name suggests that anyways. So let's go check it out, shall we? Today's review will be on the Super Mad Toys, and don't make them angry. You wouldn't like them if they're- what? I've already used that joke. Dang it. The 6 million Bionic Man Hunter Outfit Version. Now, if that clever play on words in the title didn't give away who this figure's supposed to be based on, this picture sure will. It's Lee Majors as Steve Austin, the Bionic Man, or better known as the Six Million Dollar Man. Now, as you can see, this box is very plain. It's just blue. It's got that kind of retro title there. It's got a picture of the figure up here, and it's got like some little, like, I don't know, effects around him. That's pretty awesome. But this picture, as cool as it is, isn't as cool as the picture on the side of the box. Because this just screams six million dollar man. Check that out. It looks like the patch that's on the front of his uh, jumpsuit that the old toy came with. The logo used to see everywhere. That is so awesome. And man, that head sculpt is amazing. Down here, we've got another picture of the figure. And that is very cool indeed. He's going to an Indiana Jones cosplay. And that's pretty awesome. The back of the package is pretty plain as well. It's got the logo. And then down here, it's got a weird little ziggity zag. And then down here, you've got a rifle and the Super Mad Toys logo. The other side of the package has that same cool logo there, but a different picture of Steve Austin down here. And that is so cool. Now, this is actually the second release of a Bionic Man from Super Mad Toys. The very first one that they made was limited, I think, to 200. And it was him in his red tracksuit. And that is so cool because that's an iconic outfit. But honestly, he only wore that outfit, I thought, in the very first episode. I don't remember him wearing it, you know, anymore. Uh, but that's the, you know, suit that all the toys always showed and stuff. But generally, he just had normal clothes on. Now, this one looks like he's wearing normal clothes, but it's based on what he looked like in The Secret of the Bigfoot two-parter. And that's very cool indeed. But yeah, this could just pass as a normal Steve Austin, you know, from any episode. So that's very cool indeed. And I think this one's limited to, I think, 500? I'm not 100%. But you know what? I'm just happy that I was able to get it. Now, the one thing that the first release had that this one doesn't have is two heads. And that second head is awesome because it's got the bionic, you know, eye effect. And that is so cool indeed. But honestly, he never looked like that in the show anyways. So you know what? Unless you just want a figure that's based on that old toy, you know, this is the figure to get because I think this head sculpt looks even better. So enough about this box and about the figure. I say we waste no more time and I say we open it! Now, the front of the box is actually a slip cover, and when you pull it off, there's this black box underneath, and there's no writing on it, nothing at all. So let's pull this lid off and look underneath. Now, the box opens like a shoebox, and looking underneath the lid, we find the usual foam, and underneath that foam, what will we find? We find something that usually the government has to spend six million dollars to have. Check that out. Now, as you can see, Dexter got the old Steve Austin before I did, but you know what? That looks amazing. His outfit looks so good, too. And down here, that belt buckle is so neat looking. When I opened it up, that was the first thing I saw. Man, this is so cool. Down here, he's got his shoes, as you can see. Over here, he's got some extra hands, and that's pretty much it on this top layer. But man, I am already happy with that likeness, and I can barely see him through the bag. So let's look underneath this foam and see what else we find. We find another layer of foam that has a bag in a bag. Well, that's pretty cool. Down here, you've got part of the stand. What's that next to it? The rifle all bagged up. That's pretty awesome indeed. And check out that stand. Now, yes, it says the six million Bionic Man, but you know what? I am so happy that it came with a stand because most figures don't when they're the third party ones. And this one looks really cool with that label on top of it. That looks awesome. But yeah, this is pretty cool. So let's pull out the figure and check him out. So, here's the Steve Austin figure fresh out of the package and stood straight up. And just check out that shirt. It looks like the buttons are functioning buttons with buttonholes and the top two are unbuttoned to show off that hairy chest. And I love that they got that detail right because Lee Majors had a major Lee hairy chest. <laughs> no pun intended. But you know what? That is so cool. Another thing that's cool is if you look at the collar of his shirt there, you can see that it's a little bigger than average to match that 70s flair, and that is so awesome, but not nearly as awesome as this head sculpt. Check that out. They really captured Lee Majors' likeness so perfectly. 
You can see that his eyebrow is arced because Lee Majors was doing the people's eyebrow long before The Rock was ever born. That is so cool. But just look at all the finer details of his face. Those eyes look absolutely incredible. He's got some crow's feet and stuff. The texturing of his skin, his hair, everything looks so perfect. This is absolutely amazing. Now, speaking of his hair, if you look over here by his ear, you'll see that his hair kind of comes down over the top part of his ear, and that is so cool. They got his sideburns perfect, and that uh, profile there is perfect. His nose shape, his chin, everything, that is definitely Lee Majors. But man, I cannot get over how beautiful those eyes look, the way they catch the light, everything, that is so awesome. Now, as I said, this is actually the second figure that Super Mad Toys has made based on the Bionic Man. And this, I, I, in my opinion, is the best head sculpt they did because the first one looks great. But this one, seen side by side with that one, this one blows it away, in my opinion. And man, this is so awesome. Now, like I said, working our way back down here to his shirt, as you can see, he's got that Indiana Jones kind of shirt on, and that's pretty awesome. Now, down here, you'll see that he has the relaxed hands on, and they have paint on him as well, and that is really cool. But what's really neat is if you look at his other arm, you'll notice that he's actually wearing a metal bracelet, and that is so cool. And yeah, it's actually metal, and that's awesome. I love how it kind of covers up the wrist joint, too. And that's pretty cool indeed. Speaking of metal, he has a metal belt buckle. And that is so awesome indeed. And yeah, the pants are just plain old Indiana Jones khaki pants. Now, he actually is wearing a fat belly underneath there to pat him out. And that's awesome. Now, I thought he had one on his thighs, but it's actually probably just his shirt tucked in and stuff underneath there. But man, this looks so good. Down here at his pants, you'll see that it has a little bit of a bell-bottom flare. And that is so awesome. And he's got those hiking boots on. Now, the stand is really cool. Like I said, I love that it has the printed label there there on it but the little black piece that attaches here in the back yeah it doesn't attach very well it's very loose so I'm gonna have to glue mine down or something but that's not a big deal but man this figure looks absolutely amazing flipping him around here you can see the back of his hair and that looks really cool as you can see he's got some highlights in his hair I love that texturing down the neck because he's got a muscle body on it's probably like a Wolverine body or something and the back of his shirt looks absolutely awesome leather belt and those pants and stuff fit so perfectly. That is so cool. And like I said, I love those bell bottoms. As for accessories, he comes with this really cool rifle here. And even the magazine is removable. And man, this looks really cool. Now, I don't remember him ever using a gun like this in the show. Uh, but it's still a cool accessory to get. Another thing he includes that I don't remember him using is a little green bag, and that's pretty awesome. Now, it goes over his shoulder or whatever, and it can also snap around his waist. As you can see, mine has a bionic chicken feather or whatever stuck to it, a little piece of fuzz. I don't know where that came from, but you know what? That's pretty awesome. I guess they just wanted him to look more like Indiana Jones with this bag. I don't know, but you know what? It's kind of cool the way it can also fasten around his waist. That's pretty awesome indeed. Plus, it opens and closes with Velcro, and that is very cool. He also includes six extra hands, two fisted hands, two holding hands, and two gun holding hands, and that's pretty awesome. And he also included this uh, waist grabber thing here, but I've already swapped that out. So, final thoughts. Was he worth all of the money that the government spent to make him? Oh, heck yeah. And you know what? I am very happy with this figure that Super Mad Toys made. This is absolutely incredible. Now, I am a huge fan of this character, and I love the old toy from the 70s. That toy is awesome. And you know what? Getting this upgraded version of him... Man, this is so amazing because it really does look like Lee Majors. This is absolutely amazing. And honestly, Super Mad Toys, if you're ever listening to this, just make some outfits to go with this figure. I mean, maybe some accessory pieces or something. That would be so cool if you could swap out different outfits, give him different shirts or different pants. Man, that would be so awesome. You could sell just a tracksuit by itself. You could sell, like, I don't know metal bars for him to bend i don't know but you know what that is so cool the old toy came with an engine block make that but you know what this is awesome and i absolutely love it so there's my review of the super mad toys the six million bionic man hunter outfit version of steve austin and man this figure is absolutely amazing it's kind of plain i mean there's not a whole lot to it but man i am very very happy with it uh, I do wish that it was easier to get. It took me forever to get it, but you know what? It was well worth the wait, and this likeness is absolutely amazing. And honestly, like I said, the only thing that could make this figure better in the future is if Super Mad Toys would make, like, outfit accessory packs or something to go with it. Oh, that would be so cool! And you definitely gotta make the Bigfoot to go with this figure. I mean, 
Seriously, why make the Hunter version if you don't make Bigfoot? Oh, that would be so awesome. So, until next time, tune in for more... Folk Reviews! <laughs>